So in this video, we will learn how to add leads from Facebook lead ads to Pabli email marketing. Now suppose guys to market your business, you have created a Facebook page and you are running some Facebook lead ads to market. And you want that all the new leads you generate from your Facebook lead ads, you want to add those leads as a subscriber on your Pabli email marketing account. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So the trigger of this automation will be getting a new lead on your Facebook lead ads account. And then the action will be adding those leads as a new subscriber in Pavli email marketing. Now guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Pavli Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just 2 minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give your workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Facebook lead ads to Pavli email marketing. Just a second. Pavli email marketing. And then just click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here and in this workflow we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on. Where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to get the details or the data of new leads which are generating from our Facebook lead ads inside Pavli Connect. So we are going to connect our Facebook lead ads account with Pavli Connect and get the new lead data. Then after that using Pavli Connect we are going to add those leads as a new subscriber in our Pavli email marketing account. So let's begin. Now here in trigger window in choose app search for Facebook lead ads. Select Facebook lead ads over here. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select new lead instant. Click on connect and select add new connection. So here guys, we have to connect our Facebook lead ad account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with Facebook lead ads button. And you will see because we have already logged into our Facebook account in our browser, Pavli Connect has detected the same account and made the connection. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the page. So in the drop down below, you can see a list of all the Facebook pages which you have created in your Facebook account. So here is the list of all the Facebook pages. And from here guys, you have to select your Facebook page on which you are running your lead ad campaign. So I have a Facebook page named as Pavli Tech and I'm running some lead ad campaigns on this Facebook page. And I want to capture the leads from that campaign. So here in Pavli Connect, we are going to search for the same page, Pavli Tech. After selecting our page, the next thing it asks us is the lead generation form. So it is most likely possible guys that in your Facebook page, you have created multiple Facebook lead generation forms. So in the drop down below, you will see a list of all the forms. So here you have to select that from which form you are to capture the lead. So I have a lead gen form that is named as Pavli and I want to capture the lead from this particular form. So I have selected it. Now after guys, it is saying the important note is saying after successfully subscribing for instance notification in Facebook lead ads, your workflow will begin listening to the response and you may then submit dummy lead information using Facebook lead ad testing tool and you can use create a test lead action in the other workflow. Now guys, what it is just click on this save and send test request button and when you do it guys, it will change to waiting for webhook response. Now this means Pavli Connect is waiting to capture the details or a new lead response from Facebook lead ads. So what we have to do using the Facebook lead ad testing tool, we have to create a test lead, a dummy lead over here. So let me tell you here, you can just click on this hyperlink and it will take you to the Facebook lead ad testing page. So right now here, I have already reached to this page and after reaching to this lead ad testing tool, here you have to select the two things, the same two things, the page and the form. So in the page drop down, you can select your Facebook page like we have selected Pavli Tech over here and then in form from the drop down, select your lead ad form, lead generation form. Then after this, when you click on this preview form button, this lead ad form will open in front of you in preview mode. And then here using this details, using this preview mode form, using this testing tool, you can create a test lead. For example, let me enter the details of a test lead of dummy lead. For example, dummy user. This is the name of the person. This is the email address of the person and this is the mobile number. Click on next and click on submit. 
Now we can see that we have successfully generated a test lead using this Facebook lead ad testing tool. And because we have connected our Facebook account with Pabli Connect with the same page and same form, we will see the details or the response of this test lead will be captured inside Pabli Connect. And yes, here you can see that we have received a response of a test lead. And in this response, you can see the same first name, same last name, same email, and the same mobile number which we have entered in our lead ad testing tool. Now this means the response or the details of a new lead been created in our Facebook lead ad is successfully captured inside Pabli Connect. Now let's move to step two. And in step two, we want to add these leads as a subscriber in our Pabli email marketing account. For that, just scroll down, come to our action window, and here in choose app, search for Pabli email marketing. Select it. And then in action event from the dropdown, select add subscribers as the action event. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now guys, we have to connect our Pabli email marketing account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the bureau token of our Pabli email marketing account. So you must be thinking how you can get this bureau token. In the help text below, you can get a complete guide. Just go to the dashboard of your Pabli email marketing account and from the left side, click on integrations. After clicking on integrations, you can see two options, Google Analytics and Developer API. Select Developer API and here you can see the Bureau token of your Pabli email marketing account. Just copy it from here, go to Pabli Connect and paste it over here. And then just click on Save. Now when you click on Save, you can see that our Pabli email marketing account gets connected with Pabli Connect. And after making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the list name. So it is most likely possible that in your Pabli email marketing account, you may have multiple lists. Let me show you. We will go to subscribers. And yes, here you can see that I have four different lists. First one is the default list. Second one is Goa Travelers, Himachal Travelers and Sikkim Travelers. I have these four lists of contacts of subscribers in Pabli email marketing. And here guys in Pabli Connect in this drop down below list name, you can see all those four lists over here. So here we have to select that in which list we want to add these leads as subscribers. So I want to add these leads in default list. So I have selected it. Then it is asking us for the email address of the subscriber which we want to add. So from our Facebook lead ads new leads responses, we have also received the email address of the new lead. So here we have the same email address which we have entered while generating the REST lead. Means basically the email address of the lead generated. So we are going to map the same response of email address which we have received from Facebook lead ads over here in Pabli email marketing step. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below from the Facebook lead ad responses, select the response of email and it will be mapped over here. After this, it is also asking us for the name of the subscriber. So we have also received the name of the subscriber over here. We have the first name and the last name. So from this response of Facebook lead ads, we are going to map the response of name as well. Just click on this field and from the drop down, select the response of first name, then give a space and then from the drop down, select the response of last name. So in this way, we have successfully mapped the full name as well. Now after this guys, after mapping these details, just click on save and send test request. Now when we click on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received a response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the user whose details we have mapped over here. Basically the user, the lead which we have generated using Facebook lead ad testing tool is now successfully added as a new subscriber in our Pabli email marketing account. So let's check it. We will go to our Pabli email marketing account. We will go to our default list of subscribers. And yes, guys, here you can see that we have the same email address and the same name of the lead of the subscriber, which we have added while generating the test lead. This means the automation which we have created using which we were actually adding our Facebook leads as a subscriber in Pabli email marketing account, this automation is working perfectly fine. Now guys, after setting up this automation, what we have to do, we have to test this automation once in real time. That is it working perfectly fine or not. So we will go back to our Facebook lead ad testing tool. And guys, Facebook lead ad testing tool actually holds only one lead ad of at a time per form. So here you can, in the help text, you can see that you can create one lead per form. You will need to delete an existing lead in order to create a new one. So first we have to delete the existing lead, which we have created. Click on this delete lead button. After this, just refresh your lead ad testing tool page and then from the drop down, one second, select your Facebook page and form. Then click on preview form 
And this time in this form, let's enter the details of a new user. For example, test user. This is the name. This is the email address. And then this is the mobile number of this test user, this test lead. Click on next and click on submit. Now, just now guys, we have generated another test lead on our Facebook lead ads testing tool. And we will see that using this automation as this lead is generated instantly within seconds, this same lead will be added as a subscriber in Pabli email marketing. So we'll go to a Pabli email marketing account, refresh this page once. And yes, guys, here you can see that instantly as the lead is generated, instantly automatically the lead has been added on our Pavli email marketing account. So here we have the same name, test user and the same email address. Now this means guys, the automation workflow which we have created in Pavli Connect is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find a clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment out your suggestions and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.